Hey guys, it's Carrie. Many types of aquatic animals are commonly referred to as fish and they are not fish. Some examples would be shellfish, cuttlefish, starfish, crayfish and jellyfish. Please subscribe and turn on notifications. Giant squid, they live up to their name. The largest giant squid ever recorded was 13 metres long and may have weighed nearly a tonne. Giant squid are aggressive, opportunistic creatures that prey on anything that comes their way. From easy meals of fish and shrimp to a more sporting hunt of other large cephalopods and whales. Beluga whale? The beluga has adapted to life in the Arctic. It's all white colour and the absence of a dorsal fin allows it to swim under ice with ease. Its sense of hearing is highly developed and its echolocation allows it to move about and find breathing holes under sheet ice. The shape of the beluga's head is unlike that of any other cetacean as the melon is extremely bulbous, lobed and visible as a large frontal prominence. Puffer fish can inflate themselves with water and sometimes air and blow themselves up to several times their normal size to evade predators. Goblin shark? It has pink skin and a very distinct profile that features an elongated, flattened snout with its protruding jaws that are filled with teeth that resemble nails. They are active predators and take fish as well as squids and pelagic crustaceans. Goblin sharks appear to be pink due to the blood vessels visible through their translucent skin. They are born almost white but darken with age. They are flabby with small fins that suggest they are slow and sluggish in movement. They live at great depths and have been known to roam the deep trenches like the Mariana. Sea turtle? Marine turtles have lived in the oceans for over 100 million years. Marine turtles migrate long distances between their feeding grounds and nesting sites. The beak-like mouth is used to shear or crush food. Kemp's Ridley sea turtle? They are among the smallest sea turtles, reaching about 60 centimetres in shell length. Red-eared slider? They are almost entirely aquatic but as they are cold-blooded, they leave the water to sunbathe to regulate their temperature. Sally Lightfoot Crab They are brightly coloured coastal scavengers found in the Galapagos Islands and across the western coast of South and Central America. Blue Crab They are strong swimmers, largely due to their fifth pair of legs which are shaped like paddles. Dungeness crab, it uses smaller appendages to pass the food particles into its mouth. They bury themselves completely in the sand if threatened. Moray eel, they have a painful bite and can cause extensive bleeding. This is because they have teeth that jut backwards so that prey cannot easily escape. Clown triggerfish, it has sharp teeth and strong jaws which are excellent for crushing shells. They also have a poisonous dorsal spine which locks into place when the fish is under threat. It is solitary and defends its territory. They can be very aggressive. Clawed lobster, Lobsters are invertebrates with a hard protective exoskeleton. Like most arthropods, lobsters must shed to grow, which leaves them very vulnerable. Lobster anatomy includes two main body parts, the cephalothorax and the abdomen. 
the cephalothorax fuses the head and the thorax, both of which are covered by a chitinous carapace. And this is the new Papo Lobster. Notice their eyes, they are compound eyes on stalks. Because lobsters live in murky environments at the bottom of the ocean, they mostly use their antennae as sensors. And this is the spiny lobster. Easily recognised by their thick spiny antennae and lack of chele. They have a slightly compressed carapace lacking any lateral ridges. Marbled stingray. They are bottom feeders and settle themselves down over their prey, trapping them against the substrate with their disc. Queen trigger fish. It can change colour to match its surroundings or if subjected to stress. Nautilus pompilius. As a carnivore, it feeds on both underwater carrion and detritus as well as living shellfish and crabs. Ammonite. They were shelled cephalopods that died out about 66 million years ago. They are ocean dwelling mollusks, specifically cephalopods. The group Cephalopoda is divided into three subgroups. Coleoids, which include squids, octopus, cuttlefish, nautiloids, which are the nautiluses, and ammonites. Ammonites were born with tiny shells and as they grew, they built new chambers onto it. They would move their entire body into a new chamber and seal off their old and now too small living quarters with walls known as septa. Elephant seal, they have large sharp teeth and can bite. They carry bacteria that can cause very serious infections for humans and pets. Frogfish, they lie on the seafloor and wait for prey to approach. Then using their pectoral and pelvic fins, they walk along the ocean floor. Salmon, Typically, they are anadromous. They hatch in fresh water, migrate to the ocean, then return to the fresh water to reproduce. Largemouth bass. Their upper jaw extends beyond the rear margin of the orbit. It is the largest of the black basses. Octopus. With reproduction, during mating, the male approaches the female, who fends him off for a while, but then accepts him. He sits next to her or mounts her, inserting the hectocotylus into her mantle cavity to pass the spermatophores. They may copulate for several hours. The same pair often repeat mating over a period of a week or so but a male copulates with other females and females accept other males. Octopus can make discriminations based on visual, tactile and chemical cues. The females find a hole, a crevice or sheltered place and they often protect their homes with shells, stones and other solid objects that they gather. They are able to conceal themselves on any substrate by varying colour, skin, texture. Pygmy sperm whale hunts prey by echolocation. It possesses the shortest rostrum of current day cetaceans. Sperm whale, they are named after the waxy substance, spermaceti, found in their heads. The spermaceti is an oil sac that helps the whales focus sound. It is the largest of the toothed whales and the largest toothed predator. An adult sperm whale 
has few natural predators, although calves and weakened adults are sometimes killed by pods of killer whales. The sperm whale's flukes are triangular and very thick. Proportionately, they are larger than that of any other cetacean and are very flexible. The whale lifts its flukes high out of the water as it begins a feeding dive. It has a series of ridges on the back's caudal third instead of a dorsal fin. Blue whale, they are massive, growing to 30 metres in length and weighing more than 200 tonnes. Their tongue alone can weigh as much as an elephant. Their hearts as much as an automobile. When a blue whale exhales spray from the blowhole, it shoots nearly 10 metres into the air. Blue whales can be found migrating from both North and South Poles in the oceans around the world. They sit on top of the food chain and have a significant role in maintaining a healthy marine environment. Whole genome sequencing suggests that blue whales are most closely related to say whales with grey whales as a sister group. The only known natural threat to blue whales is the killer whale. Bowhead whale? They have the largest mouth of any animal, representing almost one third of the length of the body. Bull shark? They are aggressive. They need to be in order to survive. Bull sharks are cannibalistic eating younger bull sharks as well as other shark species. Being aggressive helps them survive before they become fully grown. It is found in warm, shallow, brackish and freshwater systems including estuaries and rivers. Bull sharks can thrive in both salt and fresh water and can travel far up rivers. The bull shark is diadromous, meaning they can swim between salt and fresh water with ease. Bull sharks are able to regulate themselves to live in either fresh or salt water. It can live in fresh water for its entire life, but this does not happen, mostly due to the reproductive needs of the shark. Young bull sharks leave the brackish water in which they are born and move out into the sea to breed. Megalarden. It went extinct millions of years ago. It was the largest shark ever to prowl the oceans and one of the largest fish on record. Its name means giant tooth for a very good reason. Its massive teeth are almost three times larger than the teeth of a modern great white shark. Like the dinosaurs, Megalodon liked warmth. During its time, it hunted in the warm, shallow seas that covered much of the planet. Megalodon teeth have been found on every continent except Antarctica. Megalodon may have gone extinct when these seas dried up. The ice age began and water was locked up at the poles. Killer whale? is the largest member of the oceanic dolphin family. Blue whale? The only known natural threat to blue whales is the killer whale. Humpback whale? Males compete aggressively for access to estrous females. The breeding season is during winter and breeding takes place in tropical waters. During courtship, the male follows the female. Then they engage in rolling, flipping and tail fluking. Next, both dive 
and then surface vertically with ventral surfaces in close contact. This is where the male inserts his caspers, which is another word for penis, injecting sperm into the female's cloaca. They emerge from the water to a point below their flippers. They then fall back onto the surface of the water together. In sexually mature males, the weight of the testes and the rate of spermatogenesis increase during the breeding season, coinciding with the ovulation of the females. Blue ringed octopus? They are one of the world's most venomous marine animals despite their small size, which is usually 12 to 20 centimeters. Their venom contains tetrodotoxin. Blue sea dragon, known as Glaucus atlanticus. They are pelagic and float upside down by using the surface tension of the water. Please stay and watch another video with me. I love to read and reply to all of your comments. Thank you for watching my video. See you again soon. See you guys in my next video.